An aspiring pro baseball pitcher spends his summers working for his family's landscaping business. When he gets a chance to play in the prestigious summer league and falls in love with his rich client's daughter, he juggles a potential career and a budding romance, while struggling to choose which to prioritize. One summer in Cape Cod, Ryan Dunn, a left-handed Boston College pitcher who aspires to play in the major leagues, works as a part-time lawnmower for his dad Sean Dunn's landscaping business. He also maintains the veterans field, where his team, the Chatham A's, plays. Meanwhile, college players Billy Brubaker and Miles Dalrymple arrive and meet their house parents, with whom they'll be living with in the summer. Elsewhere, Domo Dominguez nervously discovers that his house parent has a flirtatious voice and seemingly wishes to sleep with him. A day before his team's first meeting, a dedicated Ryan suits up for practice and plans to spend the night on the field. Later, Dee Dee Mulligan Mulligan, Augie Mulligan, and Pete arrive, tempting him to drink booze. At first, the baseball player asserts that he won't entertain women or consume intoxicating drinks so that he can focus on preparing for the game, but he ends up sleeping with Dee Dee. After the deed, they switch undergarments when she refuses to return his boxers. Meanwhile, Domo is preparing for bed when his house parent invites him to her room, so he anxiously hides under the covers and pretends to be asleep. The next morning, Ryan arrives late for his team meeting, and his new teammates jeer at his unusual undergarments. After adjourning the meeting, coach John Schiffner approaches Ryan and gives him a final warning about his tardiness. After offering his condolences for Ryan's mom's passing, the coach reminds him that it doesn't exempt him from the rules. Afterward, Ryan drives to an elite residence where the parish family spends their summers. As he mows the lawn, he sees the eldest daughter, Tenley Parish, come out of the swimming pool and is mesmerized by her great figure. Distracted, he accidentally hits a bird feeder, causing the beautiful woman to notice him. Later, Sean asks Ryan about Coach John, and the baseball player brings up that someone told the coach about his mom's passing. His father insists he didn't speak to his coach. That evening, Ryan goes to Oasis, the bar where his brother Mike works as a bartender. Ryan joins his teammate's table, where Eric Van Lemer hotly recounts the offers he's gotten from major league teams. Ryan scoffs, so the bully reminds reminds him of his embarrassing entrance in the team meeting earlier, which provokes him. To calm Ryan down, Billy invites him to talk to the women at the other table and introduces him to Lauren and her friend Tenley. Ryan immediately recognizes Tenley, and she says he looks familiar. Suddenly, Dee Dee interrupts and asks Ryan where her undergarments are, but Ryan says he can't return them yet because he's still wearing them. When Billy and the women laugh, the embarrassed Ryan storms out of the bar. Tenley follows him, so the baseball player comes clean and and admits he and his dad have been mowing their mansion's lawn for six years. The following day, Ryan does a fine job during pitching practice, earning him praises from Coach John. After the practice, Billy says that Tenley was asking about Ryan last night, so he asks him to join them later for ice cream. After driving home, Sean asks Ryan if he will work the next day, but the baseball player says they have a game. That evening, before meeting the ladies for ice cream, Ryan and Billy meet Tenley's sister Katie, who asks for their autographs, and later reveal she'll be their team's unofficial mascot. While eating ice cream, Ryan and Tenley get to know each other better. Tenley shares that despite her father securing an investment firm job for her in San Francisco, she wishes to return to school to become an architect. The next day, the Chatham A's compete against the Wareham Gatemen. After hearing a rumor that the Dodgers offered Eric $2 million, Ryan grows envious. When it's Billy's turn to bat, he fails to hit and blames the wooden bat for his performance. Afterward, John calls Ryan, who excitedly approaches the coach. But instead of putting him in the game, he asks Ryan to go around and ask for donations in a baseball cap. In Oasis, Domo asks for advice regarding his pushy house parent. But Billy and the other teammates encourage him to sleep with the older woman. Shortly after, a commotion ensues in the bar when Ryan's friends and Eric fight over a game of pool, prompting Ryan to stand up for his pals. When things get heated, Mike intervenes, ordering his brother to let it go. Ryan storms out of the bar just as Tenley arrives, curious about what happened. She then reveals that she was at the game earlier and clumsily thinks of how to compliment him despite not playing. Before Ryan leaves to prepare for his game the next day, Tenley kisses him passionately. The following day, Ryan is up as a pitcher for his first game of the season. At first, the game goes well. However, 
in the last inning, he loses focus and allows a home run. Billy also strikes out and breaks the wooden bat over his knee in his frustration. After the game, Ryan gets home, only to see his drunk dad disappointed with the game. He blames the team's loss on his son, whom he believes was distracted because of Tenley. That night, Ryan drives to Billy's summer home. He sees his disappointed friend packing his things, ready to leave town. Since the first bus isn't until the morning, Ryan invites his friend to have a last drink at Oasis. Suddenly, Ryan says he has to go see Tenley, but he leaves Billy with the option to stay at his house if he changes his mind about leaving. To ensure his friend won't be late for his bus, Ryan tasks Augie to drive Billy to the bus station. However, he ends up missing his ride and staying in town because he spent the night partying with Augie, Dee Dee, and their other friends. Elsewhere, Ryan meets Tenley and shares how his father and brother, who both failed in their pro baseball careers, are just waiting for him to do the same. When she asks what he really wants out of life, Ryan confidently says that he wants to be a pro baseball player, so she encourages him to take big risks to reap big rewards. The following day, Sean peruses the local newspaper when he cautions Ryan against dating a wealthy woman, stating that he's setting himself up for a major fall. Suddenly, a hungover Billy walks in wearing Dee Dee's undergarment, implying that he had a great time last night and he's decided to stay. In the parish residence, Tenley is late for breakfast, prompting Katie to reveal to their parents, Rand and Victoria, that her older sister was out with Ryan, the guy who mows their lawn. Tenley assures her dad that there's nothing going on between them. Suddenly, Rand brings up that he's invited Chris Hunt, the man they want Tenley to marry, to Chatham. Irritated, Tenley walks out of the dining room. Meanwhile, Miles is practicing his pitching by hitting the X mark on the ceiling when Marjorie suddenly arrives to be intimate with him. That rainy night, Ryan and Tenley swim in the parish's pool, unbeknownst to Tenley's parents. Suddenly, Rand hears the noise and threatens to call the authorities. Before Rand catches him, Ryan gets out of the pool and runs to his pickup truck, where Tenley kisses him before he leaves. In the ensuing games, Billy improves, and his batting average climbs. Meanwhile, Ryan's pitching has improved as well since he continues to practice with Tenley during his time off. Because of his good performance, John assigns Ryan to pitch during their game against Hyannis, pointing out that his left-handedness is an advantage. Hearing this, Eric approaches Ryan, warning him that the opposing team will draw more attention from scouts, so it'll be embarrassing if he messes up. That night, Ryan visits Mike in Oasis to inform him he'll be the starting pitcher against Hyannis. Instead of congratulating him, Mike asks which inning he'll self-destruct, offending Ryan, who's convinced his older brother doesn't believe in his talent. When they take the argument outside, Mike admonishes his young brother, pointing out that he can do more with his talent if he isn't distracted. Afterward, Ryan goes to Tenley's house, only to find Chris Hunt putting his arm around her. Suddenly, Rand invites him inside to have a drink. As the older man interrogates him about why he showed up late at night, Ryan lies and says he had to check the flowers. Shortly after drinking, the jealous Ryan leaves the parish house, and Tenley follows him outside, explaining that she wasn't supposed to see Chris this summer. Eventually, Tenley reveals that she hasn't told her parents about him, which insults Ryan, who thinks that she isn't serious about being with him. The next morning, during practice, Billy makes an insulting remark about Marjorie, explaining that she shouldn't be the woman Miles spends his time with. That night, while Ryan positions himself as the team pitcher, Hugh Alexander, a Philadelphia Philly scout, watches him from afar. The baseball player starts strong, but he messes up in the middle of the game. Meanwhile, Sean spots Hugh taking notes on the game. He decides to approach him and then invites him to meet his son after the game. Before the scout leaves, he advises Ryan to remain focused. Afterward, Sean reveals that the scout is interested in him. Later, the disappointed Ryan drinks with Augie and Pete, claiming that he's decided not to play for the next couple of games. While his friends believe that he's a good pitcher, Ryan argues that he should have been signed by now if he was as good as people say. Augie encourages him by reminding him of the people who never missed any of his games and that being a great pitcher isn't about the paycheck, but about the pride of doing what you do. Thanks to his supportive friend's words, Ryan calms down and hugs them. The next morning, Sean, Ryan, and Billy watch Tenley as she mows the Dunn's lawn as an apology for the other night. When he goes outside to talk to her, Tenley reveals that she finally disclosed their relationship to Chris and her dad, who wants him to attend their house party later. Finally, the couple makes up and kisses. During the party, Rand speaks to Ryan and asks him to end his fling with his daughter so she can focus on her future. If he doesn't comply, he'll encourage 
encourage all his rich friends to cease employing Ryan's father for their landscaping needs, prompting the young man to leave the party early. When Ryan gets in his truck, Tenley follows and asks what's wrong, but he dismissively tells her to come see him after his big game tomorrow. As soon as he gets home, Ryan informs his dad about what Rand said, but he waves it off, thinking that their rich client didn't mean it. He then encourages his son to focus on building his career as a baseball player. That night, Ryan meets up with a hesitant Tenley, who reveals that she'll be going to San Francisco for the job and that she'll go to graduate school if it doesn't work out. Later, Ryan says that if she wants to be an architect, she should go and do it and disregard what her father has to say. Nearby, Eric and Dale open the press box window and take their dates inside. To see in the dark, Eric lights a matchbox, but ends up absentmindedly dropping it into a box of newspapers, starting a fire. As Ryan and Tenley argue outside, Ryan suddenly sees the press box in flames and rushes to rescue Eric and Lauren, who are locked upstairs. The next morning, news of the fire makes it to the local paper, with Ryan and Tenley's photo under the headline. Seeing this, Rand scolds Tenley for humiliating their family, but she argues that Ryan is working toward his dreams and that she'll do the same in San Francisco. In Veterans Field, John announces that he's kicked Eric and Dale off the team, leaving him no choice but to assign Ryan as starting pitcher. In the parish residence, Sean arrives and hands Rand his final bill. He recommends another landscaper to take his place because he can no longer be under his employment after what he said to Ryan. Meanwhile, Domo finally gives in to his house parents' request, whom he sees eating grapes in bed. As he nervously sits beside her, the house parent reveals that she can help him in his baseball career before suggestively ordering him to fetch a cucumber. Later, Ryan meets his brother to inform him that he'll start the game the next day against Falmouth. Because the game will attract a lot of scouts, Ryan admits that he's scared, prompting his brother to encourage him and offer baseball advice. Following this, they reminisce about their late mom, who never missed Ryan's games. Meanwhile, in Oasis, the team celebrates Domo's momentous victory with his house parent. Miles then stands up and announces his fondness for big boned girls, in response to Billy's insults to Marjorie, earning supportive cheers. Outside, Ryan encounters Tenley, who informs him that she'll be leaving for San Francisco the following night, the night of his big game. After encouraging him to pursue his dreams, she tearfully hugs him goodbye. In his big game against Falmouth, Ryan starts off impressively as he recalls the encouragement of his family and friends. Following him, Billy and Domo also perform well, prompting the whole team to celebrate. Meanwhile, Tenley stops by Veterans Field to say goodbye to Katie. After seeing Tenley, Ryan feels inspired and throws the best pitches of his career. When Tenley leaves, Ryan freezes momentarily, recalling all the encouraging words she said. He then calls Billy over and declares his love for Tenley. With that, he calls Calvin Knight to replace him as a pitcher, confident that their team will win either way. Ryan leaves the game and rushes to Augie, whom he instructs to drive him to the airport, and they catch up to Tenley just in time. To stop Tenley from leaving, Ryan confesses his love, which she reciprocates. Seconds later, Sean, Mike, and Hugh arrive, informing them that the Chatham A's won the game. Suddenly, Hugh walks up to Ryan and offers him a deal with the Phillies that includes a guaranteed signing bonus of $50,000. However, Sean negotiates for $75,000, prompting the scout and Ryan to close the deal. Afterward, the couple shares a celebratory and passionate kiss. Months later, everyone gathers in Oasis to witness Ryan's Major League Baseball debut as a pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.